In this episode, by popular demand, we're going to be going over our Shopify integration and we're going to show you guys exactly how you could fully exploit this feature that we have available to you guys to either generate more profit in your Shopify stores or generate more profit for your clients who have Shopify stores. And right after that, we'll get right into how we could create different funnels that integrate with this and allow us to fully, fully maximize our profits. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to this top right section and we want to go into integrations. Okay. And we're constantly adding new integrations. For example, right now we have the click funnels integration. We have lead pages, which we're going to be adding in here in a little bit. And the Shopify app, which is, is a really extremely, extremely powerful uh, application that we created in Shopify. And we're going to show you guys how it works. So the first thing we want to do is we want to press on configure. Okay. And now it's going to take us to this link right here, which is going to allow us to, to link our store to the application, right? This is not a Shopify app that you could find by looking in the store. You have to integrate it directly through uh, through those settings that I just showed you. So once you're here, you're gonna put your, your Shopify name dot myshopify.com. So for this example, we're gonna use cftesting1.myshopify.com, which is our testing account. And we're gonna press on install. And what this is gonna do is that it's gonna take us to this screen right here. It basically tells us that this app is not listed in the app store and what the system is going to be able to take in. And we're going to click on install unlisted app. Okay. We're going to install it in our software so that we could go ahead and, and get started in using it. So we'll go over each of the different sections of this app um, in a little bit, but to start things off, we need to connect this to our contact flow account. Okay. So the way that we're going to connect this to our contact flow account is extremely simple, extremely simple. So I'm going to open up a new tab here and I'm going to go to contact flow. I'm going to go to contact flow right here and I'm going to log in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the top right section and I'm going to hit on manage account. Okay. And then I'm going to come right here to API. I'm going to generate a new API key. Okay. I'm going to generate an API key, which is going to allow the Shopify app to connect to the store, to the, to the contact flow account that I'm currently uh, logged into. Okay. And then I'm going to hit copy key. I'm going to copy this key and I'm going to go back to my Shopify store. And the first thing that I'm going to do and what's going to link this Shopify store to my contact flow account is pasting the key in here. Now I'm going to press save. And once we press save, now everything that goes on in here is directly linked to our contact flow account. So the next step that we could do is we could go ahead and we could import contacts if we wanted to, and we could set a default tag. So this is extremely important. Not only if we have one store, but, um, or, or it's not only beneficial if we have one store, but it's also beneficial when we have a lot of them. And, and let me explain why. So this default tag gets added to every new customer that comes in through here. And so what we're going to do here is that we're going to put uh, a default tag of, for example, CF testing. We're going to set this tag and we're going to hit save. And now what this is going to do is that every single customer that comes in through here, through this store is going to get added to our contact flow account with this specific tag. So right off the bat, you could tell how this could be extremely, extremely beneficial because we'll be able to come to our contacts right here and we'll be able to, for example, um, let's do it right over here in this version of it. So we're going to hit contacts right here and we're going to click on advanced search. And this advanced search is going to allow us to, for example, bring in everyone with CF testing. And right now we have no one, but if we did, then we would be able to calculate the lifetime value, right? The LTV of every single person coming in through that store. And later on, we'll be able to take it even another uh, stage where we could see everyone from the store who has purchased this product, but not this one. What is the lifetime value of these people? And that's extremely powerful. So we definitely want to use the default tags feature of the Shopify store right off the bat as soon as we get in here as soon as we get in here so this is basically our shopify app in the next couple of videos we're going to show you guys other things that you could do with it and how it could be extremely powerful not only um, for us to be able to tag our contacts and be able to calculate their ltv but for us to be able to uh, have a uh, um, shopping cart recovery right to be able to pitch people products that they went to their checkout to but they didn't purchase for example and we'll get right into that so now guys, check this out. This bottom section right here is going to be filled with your products. Okay. The products that belong to your Shopify store. Now, what you're going to be able to see here is that we have uh, the product name and we have a checkout tag and a purchase tag. Now here's what we do here. You're going to see that they're empty by default. What we want to do is we want to go to our top five products or top 10 products. And what we want to do is we want to hit this wrench here. We want to add a checkout tag 
and a purchase tag. And what this is going to do, it's really straightforward and extremely powerful. So it's going to add this checkout tag to every single customer that reaches the checkout stage with that product. And then it's going to add the purchase tag to every single customer that um, completes the purchase of that product.